good evening. Welcome to Vintage Key Studio with me, Margaret Rogers. This evening, I'm going to be demonstrating the harmonium. We're not too sure when this harmonium was made, but it was sometime between 1853 and 1980. This is when the RF Stevens Limited Company were in operation. They were known for making pretty much any reed organ harmonium type thing, and they were also repairers and restorers as well. Uh, most of their instruments were fairly good quality. This one as you can see, is a bit worse for wear. Some of the, the keys are sticking up a little bit, and that's after I've fixed it as well. So they weren't the most incredible make of, of harmonium, but uh, they certainly functioned and are still working today. But the company's not. For those of you who don't know, a harmonium is basically an organ that is powered by air that passes over metal reeds. The original harmonium was invented in 1842 by Alexandre Francois de Alexandre Francois de Bain. Alexandre Francois de Bain from France. And he used, instead of the fixed reed idea in an organ pipe, the harmonium used the free reed idea which was invented by Gabriel Joseph Grenier Grandier Grenier in the early 1800s it basically allowed uh, when the flow of air moves past it the uh, the reed is there was a metal reed you'll see a, a picture of it in a minute the metal reed is able to move in both directions off of where it's attached so sort of it can vibrate either side of its axis like this you see with variable amplitude as well so you can get you can get like a little bit more expression between the, the sounds as opposed to like a, an organ pipe which is just like or not that they sound like that at all an organ pipe when the when the air is is going through it you can't really vary the the uh amount of blow through it because it just sort of goes and then so these free reeds that were invented by Grenier are exactly the same type that are used in things like accordions and mouth organ harmonica you can basically sort of hear that they're they're all similar from the same family and the idea with the free reed is that it's basically the the length of it determines the pitch. So it's very like a, a string or, a, or a, a tine in a Fender Rhodes or something like that. So the length determines the pitch and the width determines the, the tone. So the sort of the bigger the, 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 the reed is, the sort of more broader the tone is. In here, the, the reeds are all sort of about that long, varying sort of that sort of long, and they're kind of like this. I would open the whole thing up and show you but I really cannot be bothered because it's about 50 screws. And last time I did it, it all fell on the floor and it took me about four days to put it back together again. Inside there's lots of um, pieces of hazel wood, very straight bits of wood. And when you press down on a key, it pushes down on a, a sprung loaded felt pad or leather pad, probably leather, that's over a hole. So when you press on the note, it opens that vent and allows the air to be sucked and blown through by the bellows that you're pumping with your feet um, like this you push down on a key and the mechanism forces the pad away from the hole so it allows the air to, to be sucked and blown through this uh, opening at, or aperture and causing the free reed that was invented by Gabriel Joseph Grenier to vibrate and then as soon as you let go of the note the pad thing gets sort of sucked back up again and in an ideal world it stays there and it doesn't leak because if it leaks then it's sort of 
I'll just play you a couple of little bits and they, so it demonstrates some... Uh, you, you may hear that. It's got quite a nice uh, little jingly sound there. Um, that's actually because it's got these, these bits of metal on the side for the, for the hooks. Uh, I was going to take them off, but I quite like them, so... This is actually a portable harmonium that was uh, made for use in army situations or the Salvation Army or, or you know, on, on submarines or wherever it is they, they would need some sort of portable organ. I'll show you later on how it collapses up because basically the legs fold up into the, 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 the bottom of it and then it's sort of fairly easy to transport if you don't mind bruises. This one's also had, I've had done some modifications to this. I've stuck a, a PZM mic in there and a, a little jack uh, just for, for PA use, but I haven't used it like that for a long time. But basically, you've got the bellows here controlled by the feet, and there's two sets of bellows inside, because if you, if you just use one, you can get it to work. But it's obviously quite knackering just doing it on one... one uh, Foot, so it allows you to spread it between two and you get like a smoother transition. And uh, yes, yeah, good exercise. Now, underneath here, you can see there's a little piece of metal which is actually a, a, a knee lever, and this is for uh, an expression or a volume like a volume control and what it does is it it's again it's a sprung loaded thing and all it does is it it lifts up an acoustic cover that's over the the sound vents where the, where the reeds are so so if you if you sort of listen to it without it that that's in its down position at the moment and then as soon as i move that you can hear it's a piece of wood with a bit of felt on it that's kind of clamped down over the the reeds where the sound's coming from and as soon as you move that it just lifts it up and the further you just sort of lean on it with your knee the higher up it will go similar in a uh, like a pipe organ it's got a similar idea with that with a the expression pedal on the swell pedal usually it's got like a a, a set of wooden slats that move out like this so the sound can be heard slightly less muffled Lee. Um, I bought this from a man who had it in his conservatory for a few years, which is the reason why all the keys are all messed up. I mean, it took a, a little while to get it so that all the, the notes work, but they all do work most of the time. It's been used for quite a lot of things here at the studio and also has been borrowed on occasion by a mysterious duo, more of which you'll see some something of, of them later. There are a few notable harmonium players from recent history. Uh, one of my favourites is the, the late Ivor Cutler, who uh, not only played the harmonium, but he also wrote some incredible songs you may hear one of it later on in this video and he had a very similar harmonium to this i'm not sure who made it may have been an rf stevens one because it looks quite similar to the one he used to use the beatles used one here and there for things um they use one on um we can work it out you probably recognize the i think it was john lennon played it on that record but <laughs> doesn't really sound much like it without the singing etc. It was also used on Sgt. Pepper quite a bit as well. But possibly out of all these great performers who used the harmonium, Billy Joel comes up as the, the top one, it, certainly in my book. It was always his desire to be known as the, the sort of virtuosic harmonium player. This was probably best illustrated in his, his classic 1973 tune, Sing as a Hymn, You're the Harmonium Man. 
uh, which is a staple for most harmonium players at parties. I usually find I have to play it every single time. In 1976, Billy Joel uh, made an album called Turnstiles. And on that album, there was a tune on there called Angry Young Man, and it had a, a prelude part just before it. It was eventually recorded on piano, and I'm just going to very quickly just play, for those of you who don't know how it goes, the piano version of it, because that's obviously how uh, the more famous idea. So just watch this for a second. <coughs> original form as it was intended in 1850. Oh <clears throat> well, it's due to that performance feature uh, that uh, Billy Joel will cate categorically deny um, any fire risk caused by his own music. And Mr. Joel claims that he has zero culpability, as can be heard in his 1989 hit, We Didn't Start the Fire. Original name, We Didn't Start the Fire, Pooh Did. You may have noticed here that there's a some screws uh, holes here in a bit of a Sort of a patch and uh, it's very likely this would have had maybe an army barracks or or something the the, the nameplate on there or a band name like metallica or something like that because i know metallica used to use harmoniums as well before they got into guitar um so uh yeah so it's a, it's a lovely instrument um it's really good for playing stevie wonder on <laughs> I mentioned earlier about a mysterious duo who have borrowed this instrument over the years. They are known as the Goose and the Crow, and they are, well, they're terrifying, to be quite honest. I'll, I'll leave you with a little... Uh, a little example of something that they, they, they've done. Here's a quick snippet of the Goose and the Crow using this on stage. <laughs> That's about it for me today. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please uh, smash those like and subscribe and subscribe and like buttons and all that stuff. Oh, hang on.
that was a CD that uh, I have made. In, uh, well, in fact, it's taken me 15 years. It's available on um, Bandcamp to have a listen to, or you, if you would like to buy it, then buy it. You can get a, an actual one, or you can just get a uh, the download of it. The actual one's quite nice because it's got a it's got a, a sort of a strange picture of a keyboard that's dripping something or other. I don't know what that is. This was done at Vintage Keys, and it's got a lot of the music that we, well, a lot of the instruments that we have here are on that. So it's, uh, and it's obviously got a lovely picture of me on it with a special spider with shoes on. So, yes, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you very soon. I think the next video is going to be on the desk over there, which is uh, quite an interesting one. It's a Hill audio desk. So from me and from the desk and from Billy Joel's harmonium, Good night. Squeak -a squeak, going squeak -a squeak, 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 squeak squeak. She squeaked just me, she wants some biscuits and cheese. Squeak -a squeak, squeak -a squeak.